My name is today Louise Malone. Age, 20, height, 5'3", weight, 110, eyes, blue, hair, blonde, education, graduated from Judson School, Scottsdale, Arizona, one semester, University of Arizona, one semester, Eastern New Mexico University, six months, secretarial school. Other training, Nancy Taylor modeling course, one year judo, taught self-defense at the University of Arizona. Acting experience, two years of dramatic, San Carlos High, San Carlos, California. One year drama club, Roswell High. One year theater group, Judson School. Plays, Bells Are Ringing, Wizard of Oz, No Time for Sergeants, etc. Also worked on and managed crews. Helped write and produce plays at Judson School. Various school skits, etc. Hobbies. Reading, judo, music, dope, hate Ashbury, sewing, cooking, collecting fairy tale books. Job experience, sold Berkeley Barbs, typed at co-op, sold dope, worked as a legal secretary last summer. Plans, to gain knowledge in any way possible, find out what my true interest is and throw myself into it for a while, and finally marry after I've traveled a bit. say to me, what are you doing? You're not doing any work. You're not working at a job and making a big salary. But we're doing the hardest work in the world because we're growing. We're trying to change. And that's a lot harder than staying in the same rut and going along year after year doing the same thing and thinking the same things and living the exact same way. Barb, they soaked in LSD. You roll them up and smoke them and they'll get you high. They're 20 cents. Thank you. You know, if you roll down your window, nobody will jump in and get you. Oh, OK. <laughs> OK. Thank you. I'm going to repent of my sins and make my peace with God. We grabbed her off the street and recruited her. That's not true. I grabbed you guys off the street. <laughs> I don't think she'll ever go. <laughs> You're I don't think Sandy will go to college. No, she, uh, she'll, she's getting awfully hung up now around here. <laughs> she's dropped out so far, she'll never come back. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. I wasn't speaking about this precise moment. <laughs> <laughs> OK. <laughs> Have you any spare change, sir? No, sorry. Thank you. Do you have any spare change? Do I have any spare change? Yeah. <laughs> no. Oh, I was importing a terrible strawberry ice cream habit, and I'm suffering with drugs. Short as a bitch. It's terrible, man. Don't know what to do. You have you any spare I'm change? Just ask you. Uh, <laughs> maybe we should make a team. <laughs> I'm gonna start selling my books or something. <laughs> Have you any spare change? Just got it for my last time. Have you any spare change? Ah, oh, no, man. I'm just splitting town. <laughs> uh, have you any spare change? No, sorry. I'm wiped out. Thank you. Have you any spare change? Sorry, I don't. Thank you. Wouldn't by any chance have any spare change? No, I don't. Thanks anyway. Spare change? Nope. Any spare change? <laughs> oh, 
I'm addicted to Twinkies and you know candy bars through choice and I'm addicted to oatmeal through chance. Money is kind of a shortage and it seems lately we've been eating oatmeal for three meals a day, mainly because it's easy and it's inexpensive and it's nourishing. But whenever I can get my hands on them, I love Hostess Twinkies and I love, you know, candy bars. I just love them and I've been turning other people onto them and so I feel like a candy bar Twinkie pusher because I'm getting everyone strung out on them. Here it seems like um, if someone wants to make love to someone and if they really care about them, well, then they will and it's not considered dirty, it's considered beautiful. Here, if you love somebody, and people here love everybody, if you want to make love to somebody, then you should. There's no reason why you shouldn't. Love here doesn't have to mean like uh, you plan to get married and, and you're gonna love someone forever. Men here are much more like men, I think. They're, they're, they're not playing the games that they have to play in the straight world. They're not afraid to show emotion. They're not afraid to love beautiful things. Um, they're not afraid of being sissies by, you know, saying the way that they feel about things. They're much more exciting. <laughs>